Join me for a little bit of a worship story, children's sermon time, up here in the front row. Oh, yeah. How we doing? I don't know how it is out there, but it's breezy up here. Woo. Brought the worship story mystery box with me because it travels with me everywhere. Good to have you. Did you guys all go to vacation Bible school this week? Some of you did, some, yeah. Pretty, pretty fun. Sounded like it, yeah. So this isn't exactly a parable of Jesus, but let's see what I, oh. My favorite book, children's book is in here. You guys have a favorite children's book? I mean, some of you are a little like older. This is my favorite children's book. Yeah, have you ever read the Very Hungry Caterpillar? Some of you, some of you have, some of you. You know, this is, this could be a story that Jesus would tell. I mean, he didn't, but he could have. It's a big, when my kids were your age, we'd sit on the couch or sometimes we'd sit on the bed before bedtime and, and I'd read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's a great story. It's about this cat, have you seen a caterpillar, right? Yeah, you've seen caterpillars. They, they got all those legs and they crawl around. Yeah, Do you, and, and then they eat and then they eat and they eat and then they get, because they're so hungry. Do they, do they stay as caterpillars? No, they don't. What, 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 are they, what are they turn into? Butterfly. How in the world does that happen? I mean, you got this squirrely little thing. I mean, it, it looks like this. This is my own, because you know, it's not only my favorite book, it's my favorite stuffed animal. I mean, you're, you're telling me that somehow this is going to turn into a butterfly? Get out of here. Really? This turns into a butterfly? Yeah, I, I mean, I know. It's, but it is amazing, isn't it? It eats and eats and eats, and then it forms this little cocoon and it sort of like eats its way out of that cocoon. And then out what pops out of this is like this amazing, absolutely fantabulous, like totally cool. Butterfly comes out of that. It's still amazing, even with a stuffed animal. Don't you agree? Yes, you all agree. Nod your heads. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just amazing that something, oops, upside down, yeah, that a, a butterfly could come out of, that, that God would design a world where a caterpillar would become something so new. You couldn't eat. I mean, if you looked at that butterfly, you couldn't tell it it used to be a, a caterpillar, could you? Probably not. It's just, it's just a beautiful butterfly. We're going to hear a story, a passage from the Apostle Paul, and he's going to talk about a phrase. He's going to use a word, two words actually, a new creation. You could say a butterfly is a new creation because it started out as a as a caterpillar. And then he said this, not only are we, do we get to be a new creation, but we, where the old has passed away and the new has come. You could say that old caterpillar has passed away and the new butterfly has come. I'm not sure what all that means, but I think, I think maybe at least it means this, that when Jesus is a part of, oh, what? Your life changes. This bump. Yeah, that when Jesus becomes a part of our life, our life changes. He makes a difference. And he makes a difference in some very special ways by forgiving us, <laughs> by loving us, and by inviting us 
to be in a relationship with him. Jesus didn't tell the story about the big hungry caterpillar turning into a butterfly, but he could have because he makes a difference and changes our lives, makes us a new creation. Let's remember that, and thanks for coming up. See you guys next time.